Hi, this is Francis Wade here at Two Time Labs, and today I want to take you through a little bit of the process we use to do our research. I should say I used to do my research. Uh, as you know, here at Two Time Labs, we pull on a lot of academic research to discover what uh, academics, researchers have found in their studies of large numbers of people. So it's one thing to say, you know, here's what I do, and then to write a book on it and say, everyone should do what I do. That's one approach. A far better approach is to rely on the studies that, that others have done, um, laboratory, experimental, in the field, wherever it might be, but using some of the science that's available so that the results that you get from the research are more than anecdotal and they apply to more than one person. They could apply to hundreds or even thousands of people. That way you know you're dealing with more reliable data than you would normally find. So I want to take you through the process that we follow, or I follow, when I do some of my research and where I get my sources from, uh, how I follow through on them, and where I find the data from. Okay, So I'm going to take you through just one example. So sometimes my searches start with my email inbox. And I'm going to scroll through my inbox and show you just one one email that I get. So one of the services I use is called I use is called Mendeley. And it allows you to search different on different keywords for different um, themes, uh, topics, niches, whatever it might be. And this is my deleted items inbox or deleted items box. So you can see that I've gotten maybe one every hmm, th week or three or four days on different topics related to time management, different things that we do here at Two Time Labs. But I want to take you through just the one. So I'm going to open, open up this window. I actually don't think you can see that. Let's see. No, you can't. Okay. So I'm going to scroll through the one that's open. So there's the development of time-based perspective memory in childhood, the role of working, working memory update. Kind of interesting, I thought, okay. But here's one that caught my attention. Recapturing time, a practical approach to time management for physicians. I said, huh, well, what's that? And it's from a postgraduate medical journal. So when I see a topic like this, I think, hmm, there might be something there that I've never heard of or some 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 study that they've done that isn't well publicized. It happened in 2014. Let's go find out what the details of it might be. So I click on the link. It opens up a new window. Here's a window that it opens up. It's taking a little bit of time. Okay. So it's opening it up in Mendeley. And the one I'm looking for is the one on physicians, which is the one that's right here at the top, recapturing time, a practical approach to time management for physicians. Hmm, really? Didn't know they needed a whole new method of managing their time, but we'll see what it says. So recapturing time, okay, it has the information that I read before. Well, let's zoom in and see what the abstract actually has to say, because that's where we get an inkling as to what the actual paper might say. So we're reading this, we read this, increasing pressures on physicians demand effective time management, jeopardize personal satisfaction, true. Effective time management potentially increases productivity, promotes advancement, limits burnout, improves professional and personal satisfaction, yes, very true. However, strategies um, are for improving time management are lacking in current medical literature. Hmm. Hmm. So they're not relying on psychological literature, which is or management literature, which is where I get most of my sources, this is different. So they're saying adapting time management techniques from medical and non-medical may improve physician time management habits. Setting short-term goals, setting priorities, planning and organizing, minimizing time wasters. So the first part sounds intriguing, but the second part of the, the, um, the abstract sounds a bit generic. So I'm, I'm wondering, I'm not hearing anything very new or very different yet. 
So what I would do next is try and find the actual paper. And let's see how I do that. Close a few windows down so I don't run out of. So I do just a Google search on the name of the paper. Sometimes I get lucky, so this time I did. A practical approach to time management for physicians. So oftentimes I don't get lucky. And if you're an academic, you may know that there's a whole movement to liberalize access to research papers like this one, uh, in part because taxpayers' money and funding is paying for the research, so why should you pay for it again? <coughs> it should be free, um, is, is the, the line of thinking. But there are companies, some very successful companies, that have restricted access to papers like this, charge you maybe $30 to actually see it. Um, and academics have been complaining that it's bad for the profession to limit access to these papers. But this one happens to be available for free. Um, as, a, as a faculty member at a university, I have access to this and other papers that most other people don't especially ones going back in time. So I'm very, very fortunate. And in, in, under different circumstances, if I didn't find anything using this approach, I would just log into my library at school and 95% of the time, I'd be able to see the paper. But this one is available, so let's see what it says. Voila. So it's, it's a complete paper. The abstract is uh, repeated, so I don't have to go through that again. I'm going to increase the size so you can see what's in it. So, so I'm going to try, try and find it. There, is there anything here that would interest me? Um, take the work forward that we're doing in the near future. So I'm going to share with you one of the tips that I use when I'm scanning a paper like this for the very first time. So the very first place to start is with the title, of course, and then with the abstract. They give you a hint as to what's to come. Then what I do is I jump all the way to the bottom, being quite time constrained, and I go to the conclusion. And I see, okay, sometimes it's, it's called the discussion, sometimes it has different names, but it's the, the sort of the, the, the bottom line, let's call it that that the writers are uh, attempting to sort of put forward the results of the, of the research they've conducted. So the conclusion says, physicians seeking to improve productivity can identify and practice time management skills that increase efficiency. Although lifelong behavioral change and visions are required, readers are encouraged to first identify one or two areas of inefficiency and endeavor to improve in these areas. Once these have been successful, additional techniques can be implemented. Okay, it's, it's sounding a little bit like the message that we have here at Two Time Labs, which is to focus in on one or two areas of improvement. Maybe they've even gotten, um, suggest a way to find these areas of improvement, which is a big part of the work that we do. So I'm intrigued, which makes me say, okay, let me dig a bit further. So. Right underneath they are the conclusion, they have something that most articles don't have, which is a summary of the main messages. And as I look through these, okay, these look a little no, no brainer-ish in the sense that they're not seeing anything new. Anyone could say this before even reading the paper. Um, and the research questions are pretty basic. So my next move to figure out, is there anything in here that's worth using or learning from, is to go up and try and find a discussion of the results that they've discovered through their research. And at first blush, I'm not finding a discussion section. So it looks as if what this article is happens to be is not original research in the sense that they've they've gone in they've gone and set up a a, a trial and done um, 
set up a hypothesis, tested it using double blind testing or some other some other technique. Instead, at first blush, it looks as if what they've done is to summarize the results of other studies. And now I'm suspicious that this doesn't really add anything. If all it is is a collection of articles on time management and let's see how deep they've gone it looks as if they've focused on mostly just time management as it relates to physicians so academic research as it relates to productivity of physicians and I'm thinking there's not that much stuff that's been done so next, my next stop is references. Um, sure enough, all of the articles are related to physicians. So they're not quoting any, any source apart from Stephen Covey, which is way back in 1990. And Covey's book actually didn't rely on any academic research whatsoever. I think he had one, one at, at most one academic citation which is something that his book and he have been criticized for by other academics that it's not academic work it's popular work which is fine it's just not academic so there's a, a not a heck of a lot that he, not like a lot of depth that he that the researchers have gone into they're mostly summarizing the research that's been done for physicians there's not much of it and that which is there doesn't mention any of the research ideas that currently uh, exist in the field, such as uh, prospective memory, implementation intentions. He's just gone back to you, pick up the Covey, Covey time management matrix, which is really the Eisenhower matrix, popularized by Dwight D. Eisenhower really a basic a basic way of tagging um, time demands from our point of view a two-time lapse so it's taken me how long maybe uh, I think I've gone for about 10 minutes so far 12 minutes and I'm not not finding anything of great value or great interest it appears to be a bit of a humdrum article uh, so I'm not gonna save this one I usually save most of them that have something new to say. It's really a, a, a summary of other kinds of papers that exist in a very narrow field, very, very, very narrow field. Physicians they, they, they aren't necessarily known for great time management. There's no research that I know of or I've ever heard of. I go to the, to the, the resources, the references that actually point to any article I've ever heard about. So in this case, I delete the article, delete the reference, close the window, and move on to the next. So this is just one example I wanted to share with you. It's not one that produced a great result, um, but it is a process that I go through. The ones that produce great results, when I save the paper uh, for later reading, I read it using the same method I described before. I try to find or isolate a finding that is new relate that relates to time-based productivity I take the finding I sometimes tweet it out it comes the basis of uh, a new article perhaps or if it's really strong then I include it as a, as a possibility to mention in my book if it has a direct relationship to time-based productivity um, and this is the process I've used for at this point probably thousands of papers my, my library has a, a several hundred, so I'm, I've saved several hundred and discarded another set. But the resources I'm sharing here are all free and available to anyone. So if anyone wants to spend 12 minutes or 15 minutes just doing the kind of research I just did, Mendeley is free, the email that I mentioned is free. As you saw, the access to the paper itself is fortunately free. There's a lot that you can do without spending a single penny. And a lot that you can do to discover new ideas that are actually backed up by scientific research. And that for, for, for those of us who care about um, 
using factual research in the work that we do in time management, either to help other people or to help ourselves. This kind of information is critical to us. It doesn't always make its way to us through other means, through other avenues, through other channels. Not a lot of people out there who are tweeting out um, scientific time-based time productivity information. But so we might have to take the extra step to have sources like men that they send these articles to us. So this is Francis Wade. I just wanted to share this with you. Hope you found value from it. If you did, let me know. And uh, in the, either in the comments or directly to me at http colon slash slash reply to francis.info. So signing out here from Two Time Labs. Take care and wish you all the best. Bye now.